Okay, guys, uh, step two from yesterday, stage two, uh, simpler methods of making an arch. I just made two cubes. I'll start from scratch right now for you guys. Come on, bye-bye. Here we go. Okay, cube one in there. Uh, I know it's one by one, so I'm just going to type in 0.5, so it's on the grid. Uh, slide this over, two over, right? Command D, duplicate, slide it over to this way. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make this one in uh, less time than yesterday. I finally figured out in 2015 where all the bridge commands are. First thing first, um, you guys are looking this way. I have a cube here and a second cube. If you want to bridge one to the, set, to the second one, you have to combine it. So shift select both and then go to uh, mesh combine. Okay, so things are all over the place. I think it looks like in 2015 they really separated things according to tasks. So combine is fine. And it's nice to see that it's centered. So that's your um, hint. Second of all, what we want to do is go to face, select this face, go to the second one, hold shift, boom, both are selected. Now this took me a while to find, okay? So I think under mesh tools, believe it or not, there's bridge everywhere. There's bridge here, everywhere. So mesh tools, bridge, and I'm just going to click it. And I think initially when I did this, there's nothing in here that, except for these two triangular things, right? So I'm just going to select, and I'm just randomly adding segments. And then W to get out and go into object mode super fast. And then look on the right here. If you're in control A, you're in attribute. Let's go to the channel box and look over here where it says poly bridge edge, okay? Now this is kind of cool. If you look down here where it says curve type to uh, blend. Or, or how cool that is. The minute I change it, like check out curve. You think it would be curve? Nope, don't know why. I haven't figured that out. So let's go to blend. And then what's awesome about this, I'm going to give it, like, let's say six. Check it out. Boom. One, two, four, five. Why is this? Is this kind of like, doesn't make any sense here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, six plus one, I guess. So um, there's your keystone right there. So if I punch this to nine, again, so that's not, you would think you would be an odd number, but you have to go even. So that's actually pretty cool for me, right? I've got this nice arch. Usually in the past, I used to have a string here. Uh, an arc, and I would like control the curve. So I don't know how to do that in this new version of 2015. But this is looking pretty good, so I'm just going to go to object mode and slide down here, select face on the right, boom, shift on the side, and then I'm going to go to extrude, and make sure you select the little blue button just like yesterday, no difference, because if you don't, uh, sometimes that may not work for you. So this is pretty cool. I think I can crank this down a bit more, and proportionally, it's not bad. Object mode, uh, we're good to go. Now, again, this isn't a perfect archway, but it's pretty cool. What you can do is come over here on the face, boom, spin around, holding option, shift, select the second side, and hey, why don't I select this as well and just go to extrude. Okay, again, always, always extrude on the blue, uh, blue one here. Ooh, that looks crazy. Okay, no worries, I mean, that's okay. So what I'll do right now, just go to edge mode, Spin around, grab this edge, and oops, just the edge, please. Thank you. Option, spin around, hold shift, select this edge, and then I'm going to press R to scale, and I'm going to bring it on the blue axis again in, taper it in. Okay, so that works for me. Okay, so there it is. You've got your keystone in there, and if you want uh, W to get out, face, and just extrude out this one a bit, and just crank out a touch. Okay, so you could do that too. I mean, it's not the most architecturally accurate approach here. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not happy with this. What I can do is Command Z that. Why don't I just select these three pieces together? That would be more accurate. Okay, so here, one, two, three. That's cool. And I can bring it out. What's going on here? Let's keep past. Oh, yeah, I didn't press uh, extrude here. Let me just uh, command Z a few times because if you extrude and do not, uh, if you select the extrude button and not do anything, you have a second surface waiting there. So let's not do that. So I'm just going to crank this out. Done. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm happy with this. Um, again, it's a pretty simple system object of creating uh, archways. Okay, it's not as uh, refined as the one yesterday, but it's quick and dirty, as they say. It's, uh, and we want quick results. See you, man. Thank you. Okay, so there's that right there okay so that looks pretty cool let's see if we can just pop in um, mental ray here and Maya software mental ray let's go in direct lighting and just put physical sun and sky just pop a floor in and then 
control A, come down here where it says polyplane, shrink this to 50 by 50, and then one by one in there. And then I'll just come in here and put my film gate on. And come over here. Uh, screenshot would look pretty nice here. Just take and the angle's pretty good. Okay, slide that up. And I'll take a shot right now, render it, see how it looks. Okay, and I'm gonna be uh, shutting this down momentarily. Yeah, that's a pretty nice archway. Okay, quick, sweet. I think we're good to go, guys. Thank you very much, Bell and Okay, see ya.